Hi guys, this is Yuji from Osakana in Brooklyn and this is my third episode of Osakana Fish School and today's topic is about what sushi grade actually means. So here at Osakana, we're specialized in offering you uh, sushi grade fish and then we get this question a lot. So what does sushi grade actually mean? So, sushi grade fish means a raw fish that is safe to be consumed. Very simple, but there are some factors that determine if that fish is safe for consumption as raw. So I'll explain one by one. There are two things that make people sick when it comes to eating raw fish. The first one is bacteria, and the second one is parasite. Those two things are very different, but that can make you sick. So, I'm gonna explain bacteria first. So there are two things that grow bacteria. So the first one is the temperature, and the second one is the moisture. So those two things are very important to control when, when it comes to uh, controlling the quality of fish for sashimi and sushi. So bacteria are generally grown above 42 Fahrenheit. So all the refrigerator in general are kept below 42 Fahrenheit. Whether it's for sashimi or whether it's for cooking, uh, it's important to keep the bacteria from growing by keeping your fridge below 42 Fahrenheit. And the second one that bacteria likes is the moisture. Even though the uh, temperature is high, but if there is no moisture for them to grow, bacteria doesn't grow. Therefore, uh, to control uh, the bacteria from uh, growing, it's important to keep the fish uh, from uh, being contaminated with the water. Traditionally, a lot of the uh, sushi was prepared cured. Uh, so that was actually a way to add extra flavor and also a way to uh, avoid bacteria from growing. In general, uh, for that reason, I don't usually recommend getting a filleted fish that are kept on the ice in an open air for sushi and sashimi. The water at the room temperature, they always melt and it contaminates and it goes back into the fish that you're gonna eat. And also having a fillet fish on the ice, it's very hard to control the temperature. Let's talk about parasites. So, don't be afraid. Parasites are very natural things you see in the wild fish. But it doesn't really mean that all the wild fish have parasites in it. Some fish are parasitic in nature and then some fish are not parasitic at all. That's why it's very important to know what fish has parasite and what fish doesn't have a parasite. And if you see a parasite in the fish, it's important that you remove it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a fish with a parasite. It's, for example, it's like you go to a farmer's market and you see caterpillars and you see a ladybug on a really nice vegetable. It is exactly the same thing. But you don't eat those bugs. You take it up. Same thing. If you see parasites in the wild fish, you complete, just remove it. A parasite is something that's sometimes hard to see. Something is very small like this, and sometimes it can be as long as this. That's why uh, know, knowing what fish has parasites is very important. Therefore, uh, FDA actually regulates all the sushi restaurants to freeze fish before consumption just for the safety. But uh, some parasites uh, live through the freezing temperature. So, in Japan, uh, we have a freezer called a super freezer that freezes fish at below minus 60. That will kill parasites instantly. If you are freezing fish at a regular freezer at your home, I recommend uh, freezing fish for about one week. That's how long the parasites can actually live at regular freezer temperature. Here at Osakana, we make sure that we have a super freezer and then all the parasitic wild fish are previously frozen before we give it to you. Then, what about farm-raised fish? Yes, for sashimi, 
it is much much safer to start with eating farm raised fish because farm raised fish are usually parasite free so what creates parasites are actually what fish eat if fish eat other fish that can create parasites in themselves however the uh, farm raised fish are usually fed with fish pellet fish pellet actually doesn't create parasites in their body great examples are hamachi and salmon wild hamachi is actually a parasitic but farm raised hamachi is not same thing happens with salmon wild salmon is parasitic and farm raised salmon is not parasitic that's why those two uh, fishes, uh, hamachi and salmon, are very popular uh, fish in America at the sushi restaurants because they are actually safe to serve. Yes, one more thing, uh, freshness. Yes, I forgot to mention about the freshness for sushi and sashimi. It is absolutely important to have a fresh fish. Therefore, I talked about how to tell fresh fish in an episode two. So you can actually see uh, the fish that you like and then what you have to do is you ask the fish, uh, fish counters person to break it down for yourself. So you take home the fillets and then you actually take home the bones too. In a separate episode, a lot of people ask, uh, how do you use fish bones? So I own a ramen market, ramen restaurant and then uh, I know how to make a fish broth. So, I'll be talking about fish ramen broth or fish miso soup uh, in the next episode. So that is it. So in summary, uh, parasites free, bacteria free, and then freshness. So those are the three important things for what makes fish sushi great. If you have any questions, please send it to me to osakanabk at gmail.com Osakana Fish School It is important that I work with you to create this channel so more questions is better for me so I have a lot to talk about Thank you so much for watching my Osakana Fish School channel and then uh, see you next time